One thing every modeler ends up with after they've been doing it for a while is a huge collection of various adhesives. That's a two-part epoxy called, uh, Loctite brand, Loctite Weld. This is an epoxy I picked up a few months ago that I'm not really impressed with. It's, uh, I think it's LePage's brand. Um, got Walther's Goo, standard old school model cement, super glue, um, plastic cement, uh, the liquid type, which is a solvent. Um, there's a white glue around here somewhere and a handful of other things. But for the project that I'm working on, which is hiding under there, secret stuff, shh, you'll find out in a couple weeks, don't worry. Um, when I was trying to use this, I found that it was really stiff because it's like 20 years old. Um, I tried some of this one and I think it, it's not behaving the way I would expect it to. It never properly hardened and the part that did harden was really brittle. So I did what anybody would just naturally do and I went out shopping and I went to the dollar store and got this two tube epoxy. Um, it's a you know, buck and a half from Dollarama, uh, Ed Hero brand, mysterious random spelling. And I got the old famous GB Weld, which I'm guessing is probably chemically quite similar to this. Um, I'm very confident in it. Um, it's, you know, that's just what everybody recommends. I want to see how good that is. Give this a try. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is try them all out under the same circumstances and just see what they do. So to test them, I'm going to need an assortment of surfaces. Um, Kind of surfaces that you'd normally encounter in modeling so i think i will try wood which i use these tongue depressors for plastic which i use some of these things for um i think that's styrene and metal which is actually the kit that i'm working on right now and to fill in for metal i use some shingle nails um now those shingle nails have a bit of an oily surface on them. So just to make this somewhat fair, I'll give them a bit of a clean with some alcohol. Come on, pump you thing. Now this isn't going to be the most scientific test in the world, but we'll do what we can. Um, Uh, what do we got over here? Loctite. And dollar store. So, well, let's start with the dollar store one. So like any two-part epoxy, you squeeze out equal amounts of the two things. And I'm noticing right now that the clear-ish one actually ha is a little bit I don't know it looks like it's kind of crudded up a little bit or something I'm not sure but I'll give her a good solid stirring anyway now these all claim to be about five minutes or bonds in five minutes or whatever so but I'm not going to uh, be too uh, concerned about the time. I'm going to give them a couple of hours. Hang on, I need to clamp. There we go. High tech clamp. So that's the Dollarama one. Set that aside. A couple of these things. A good smear in there. I'm going to need more clamps before this is done. Dorama and the gob on the head of my shingle nail. 
me put that over there so okay I'll leave those guys to do their thing for a while and on with the next one I've decided just to make it fair and change up the clamps so that all those will have that kind of clamp all the the uh, tongue depressors will have clothespin clamps just to keep it fair so here's my other old one, the Loctite weld. Uh, where's the other half of that? Uh-oh. There it is. You see they're kind of leaking and they've, they've been around the block. And I had to actually use uh, use pliers to open them the first time I did it earlier. But it's really stiff. Not at all long for this world. But same procedure. Squeeze out a couple of approximately equal size blobs. The one nice thing about that stuff is that it's got two different colors, so when you've got it mixed properly, it turns into a nice neutral gray with no streaks. That clear one with two clear parts is kind of hard to tell. Okay, that looks pretty well mixed. So we'll grab a depressor here squeeze that down clamp it that's the Loctite what a horrendous mess one blue and one white one. Now I didn't do anything special to clean these. They are just how they came off the bread bags. You're wondering why do I have a whole bunch of these? Well, it's a cheap source of styrene for modeling. Why else? Okay. Couple of nails. And I'm also just going to leave the puddles here. This one's already starting to stiffen up, although it was originally pretty stiff anyway. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, that's those two. Now the two new ones. Let's. What the hell did I do wrong? This is wrong. This is the LePage. Somebody spotted that, didn't they? You were yelling at your screen, right? Okay. That's the Loctite. This is the Dollarama one over here. This one break that off and this little thing in the middle of the handles is the cap to put on later so we'll squeeze out proximal equal parts of the two goos and you notice this is keyed so you can only put it on one way which is good that way you don't make a complete mess uh, new stick And again, this one's clear, so you can't really tell if it's properly mixed or not. However, it claims to set up water clear, which is cool. I guess. Anything that I'm going to be gluing in model making world is going to get painted eventually anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. But, ooh, that's a big gob. Yeah. 
that's much thinner, much runnier. Put some clamping pressure on it. So that is the dollar store one. Grab some plastic here. Let me smear. It is easy to spread when it's thinner like that. That's one thing. Yee, squeeze out. Door store. And a couple of nails. I'm sure there are probably more more scientific tests that a person could do, but I'm not that more scientific kind of person. Okay, so there's that one, and what's left is a JB Weld. So these tubes are new. They've got a little foil there. There's a little pokey bit in the end of there. So I'll we'll squeeze out a quantity of the black part and a equal looking quantity of the white part. Is that, is that equal? I think I might need a little bit more. No, yeah, no. That's pretty close. We'll see. Like I said, this isn't a double blind scientific experiment. This isn't even a blind drunk experiment. But again, with the black and white chemistry, then you can tell very easily when you've got it mixed because there's no streaks of color in it. Hokey dokey. And that being newer is a lot thinner than the Loctite weld. It spreads a lot easier. And on there, there'll be clamp. Okay, where is, come out, come out wherever you are. There we go. Sure, even buttering on there. And a clamp. And last, a couple of nails. Obviously, galvanized shingle nails aren't the type of metal that I would normally be modeling with. But I will. You know what, just to be fair, I think I'll prop them all up like that. Just so that there's not as much stress. Okay. Now, I'm going to bugger off for a while. Um... Probably a few hours. I know these are all five minute epoxies, but that's just five minutes until they're dry to the touch. That one's kind of. That one's kind of. That one's still pretty wet. That one's still pretty fresh. So, I will go. I'll probably go have supper, watch a hockey game. Um, remind the kids who I am. You know, stuff like that. Walk the dog. And I'll come back in a few hours and uh, try this. See what happens. Okay, I'm back. It is almost two hours later. So these five minute epoxies should have all set up. Um, according to my little temperature and humidity thing, it is 15 degrees Celsius and 64% humidity in my little basement cave here. If that matters, I don't know. 
Um, well, let's start from over here. This is the LePage, what I think is LePage, um, glue. So first of all, it's definitely hardened on there. And it's not sticky. That's good. Um, it seems to be holding that pretty well. So let's uh, start trying things here. A twist on there. Okay, so it did eventually break, but it looks like did it break in the middle of the glue? Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, it looks like the glue broke instead of the uh, instead of the sticks, but it took a fair bit of pressure. I mean, I broke the stick before I the glue broke loose. That's cool. Let's try the nails. I guess I'm going to just pull straight apart. That's not doing anything. So now I'm going to do a bending motion like that. That's <coughs> that took a lot of force, actually. Okay, now then, these things. How well did that stick to there? Not as strong as the others, but it still took a fair bit of force, and some of the glue stayed on each side. So it's like the glue broke in the middle. That's interesting. What happens if I... So I can actually cut into it a little bit. It's not... It's not brittle hard. Okay. Uh, next up is the JB Weld. It's... Ew. That's not performance. Where's the package? Ah, set time four to six hours. Okay. Didn't notice that before. I'm just going to leave it alone. Actually, I just had another thought. Um, since that's been about two hours, and I'm going to give that one a full 24 hours or more, I'm going to redo this one. It won't be 24 hours. It'll be closer to 22 hours, probably. Uh, a little bit shy on that goo. But I'll redo that one, and I'll... Ah! I'll redo that one and I will test it tomorrow alongside the others, just for fairness. Welcome to the future. Time has passed. It is now uh, about 25, 26 hours later. And that guy's hardened up now. These are all hardened up. And when I was on my way home from work, I stopped at the store to pick up some groceries as you do and I found yet another candidate uh, more GB weld but this time quick weld sets in six minutes as opposed to the 24-ish um, hours or whatever it said for that one so um, I'll quickly whip up a batch of this and uh, set it aside and come back tomorrow to check it meanwhile uh, I'll check these too so um, here is the uh, well, pages, uh, where is it? This one, where the label fell off. So we got, it's nice and stiff here. After 24 hours, can't cut into it, whereas after a couple hours you could. And I'm just going to go with a twisting motion here. Aha! Stronger than wood. That's the result. How about the plastic? Not very awesome. Didn't hold all that well for that, actually. And these, um, again, I'm going to go with a breaking motion like that. Only That took a bit of effort. Not as much as I would have expected a bit more, but whatever. Okay. So the full-on standard JB Weld. Um, again, now I can't cut into that that's nice and hard seriously hard there okay what i got here again the wood breaks okay so solid for wood 
the styrene plastic that peels off like nothing so much easier than that stuff okay that's a full-on fail i suppose if i had done some prep to the plastic it might have maybe it would have worked better if it had a bit of tooth i don't know but it certainly doesn't get chemically into there okay that's that one the nails everything seems to stick to paper so again oh that's a lot harder than the other set of nails <coughs> win so so far that's the only full well no i guess on on wood everything's been good so far my old loctite weld cruddy old ones that i this guy here that i couldn't find a replacement for in the same brand um on wood oh not so good on the wood Plastic comes right off again. Okay. Yeah, it peels off like nothing. Okay. And the metal. Wow, that was on par with the LePages. Okay, so, so far, JB Weld, well, I mean, JB Weld is better for metal. Um, for plastic uh these two so far okay let's try the dollar store adhero it's stuck to the clamp hmm. okay so same twisting motion oh the glue broke the it wasn't the didn't the wood didn't break like those other two okay so fail on that sticks the paper doesn't stick with crap the plastic okay so far the only one that's even put up some kind of a fight on the plastic is the pages let's try the dollar store stuff okay it didn't get quite as tight a squeeze on there but and it broke it was moderately strong um as strong as the pages i would say okay so and just like that, another day's passed. And we'll see what this JB Quick worked like. That's nice and solid. Can't even put a knife into it. Well, a little bit. That's not bad. Let's see what happened on the wood. Just like it's Big Brother and this one tears the wood apart, but the goo itself stays solid that's nice on the plastic yeah pops off just as easily as most of the other ones the nails holy <coughs> just like that so far the only thing that stuck metal together beyond my feeble <coughs> ability to break it is the two gb weld products that's interesting and it dries shiny gray whereas my old loctite is a little bit matte that one's shiny and also slightly light, lighter gray so it's not just the same chemistry as the loctite weld hmm okay well that's uh that's definitely an experiment on on wood most of them work pretty well. The stuff from Dollar Store didn't really hold super well on wood. It took some effort. Everything else, pretty much, I don't know, my, uh, my old Loctite weld. That was a useful experiment to do. So I think this, when, when this stuff becomes completely useless, the JB Weld Quick, uh, five, no, six minute epoxy. Oh, there he is. There it is. GB Quick Weld sets in six minutes. I think that's going to be my go-to afterwards. I mean, the LePages worked quite well on, on wood, and it worked better on plastic than most of them. Um, this thing, well, it was from Dollar Store. You know, what the hell do you want? It did sort of okay, I guess. Um, it'll do in a pinch. 
if I need big blobs of epoxy on something, that's probably the one I'm going to use. Um, this one kind of mixes inconsistently. Actually, the two clear ones both, because you just can't see it. You can't tell. But they're all... Okay, that one... Yeah, yeah. The two clear ones, you can put the knife into a little bit further. Um, but none of them... Oh, I guess the knife did go through that little puddle. Is that flexible? It's slightly flexible. There's an, there's an interesting question too. How do they set up? That one's brittle. That's that guy. This is the old Loctite. It's kind of brittle and it so, sort of peeled off the paper. That's interesting. This guy, hard and brittle. This one. So is this the only one that's kind of, that bends? Oh, that's interesting. Oh well. I mean, maybe it's not that exciting. It's just epoxy. You know, what the hell? For what it's worth, there we go. Um, none of them are absolutely horrible. The standard JB weld takes far too long to set up for uh, modeling, but if I'm fixing something, uh, something metal that's definitely the one to go with um the gb6 minute is going to be my modeling one these two probably relegated to carpentry projects all right that's enough rambling about this thanks for watching hope you found some useful information in that or at least you didn't fall asleep and tune out or something i will talk to you later